That was spooky last night. I'm not joking. I thought I heard noises. Like a lot, actually. Do we need to start getting up at like four? We're turning a leaf over, Brandon. We're actually going to start getting serious about practice, okay? They want to practice. Oh, it's today. Yeah. Yeah. I did did you hear those noises last night? No. Did you? No. Dude, what's that smell? I have one minute. You want to tell him, Dave? No. Why don't you just close this door, man? Dave's missed out on this up practice these days, right, Billy? Yup. Hmm? Practice mornings. Scott Good morning. Gets, Scott's in bed like this. And the alarm's going off. He's like, oh, Billy, we gotta go. Yeah. Oh. Billy, Billy, we gotta go, Billy. It's late. I mean, it's five back. thirty outside. It's light. I'll go to back back to bed for another hour. All right, guys, we have a special guest this week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Guess who's back? Diamond Dave. Diamond Dave is back. Yes. He was a little butt hurt over the last time we were at Gunnersville, <laughs> and uh, like we all were. But he's back. Yeah, back. He's back. Mm-hmm. That is Tom's brother. Just in case yeah. you guys didn't see the Gunnersville. Episode. Dave, Dave is a co angler champion. Dave won. Which one did you win? Hartwell. Oh, yeah. Years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it seemed like years he ago. He was smacking them so bad, or so good, I should say, in Hartwell, that he would stop fishing every day at like 11 o'clock just because he didn't <laughs> want to make his pros. A lot, bad. Of, a lot of back page finishes since then. <laughs> he actually blanked on day three and still won. That's how good he, he caught him. Yeah. Come on, Brandon. We got to go. <laughs> Brandon, come on, dude. We got to go, man. So, Billy, today, fish with Scott Canterbury. We're mixing it up again, kind of like we did at Cumberland. So, I have a guy I'm taking out on day one. His name is Josh. He's going to fish with me for today only. And then Billy's back with me, day two and three. This practice vlog is going to be one of those ones you're not going to want to miss. Because we're going to catch fish, like lots of fish. Small mouth, big, large mouth, up shallow. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be cool. Upper Mississippi, La Crosse, Wisconsin, that's where it's at. excited about getting going this morning like all get up at 4 30 in the morning to get an early day on the water now we're dealing with that mm -hmm. dead battery i stayed up too late last night we have an extra battery but it doesn't seem to be starting the bow wagon so that is an issue when you run those till one in the morning and the backlight till one in the morning which i don't even know why i had the front one on i didn't really need the front one on oh here comes billy now if the owners are watching this we're sorry about the grass <laughs> Time about. I think it was because of the light. And I, I left one of these on, dude. I, I saw it. I thought it would automatically. I just thought it would automatically turn off. I don't think one of these lights did it, though. <laughs> Alright, we're here. Got my boy Josh. What's up, man? How's it going? Good to see you. So we're here, uh, pool. What? Nine. Nine. Pool nine. A lot of current. But oh, there's yeah. current everywhere. Is this normal? Like no, that much current? Way, uh, okay. Lot it's supposed to drop two feet this week, though. Really? Yeah. Let's talk no. Eh, two and a half. Yeah, 
Look at that. Look at that, boys. That's what I like. I like it a lot right there when they eat the frog. Who? Who? First fish of FLW Tour practice. Not a bad one. Probably two, eight. Two, seven. Ounces are important on this one. I get some smallmouth in here. Well, now. I just said that. Just said that. There we go. The old trusty chatterbaiter. <laughs> Smalley. Catching smallmouth on a flipping stick. That's definitely not a super freak, though. You know what a super freak is, right? Oh, I know what it is. Super freak is one of them four pounders up shallow on a frog or on a big 20 pound line and a flipping stick. That's a super freak. So, the tip I can give you guys watching this is that there's a lot of current on the river right now. There's always current, but there seems to be a little bit more than normal. If you find, if you're fishing a place that has a lot of current, you need to get your bait on the bank because those fish aren't going to be typically out here as much they like to get against the rocks they like to get against the stumps and the lay downs that are wedged into the rocks there and that's where they're going to be so get your bait close to the bank oh this ran over a baby duck dead one no it was alive there it is oh it's right here Oh, whoa, that's a bat right up on the boat. Oh, a bat? Oh. We have a bat in the boat. Dude. Dude, just get it. We bite you? Huh? touching uh, that thing. Well, he's going to crawl up in the engine. No, no, no. Don't do that. Get out there. He's going to get up inside the motor, dude. Dude, he's got to go. I'm leaving him. I'm leaving him, dude. I don't want him on my boat. That's like scary right there, dude. Is he in there? I, can't, I don't see him now. Dude, that's crazy. I thought it was a duck. Man, I've never had a bat crawl on my boat. That was something else. You never know what you'll find out here. What? Got a white water rafting fish. What is this one? A bluegill? What do I got now? Oh, a largemouth. It's like Throw it in the corner, and you never know what you're going to catch. All right, fellas. Midday report. It's been a little weird. Josh and I have uh, we kind of stunk it up a little bit today. It's, it's all my fault because I'm in charge of running that trolling motor. So we have no one to blame but me. You know, what have we learned? What have we learned today so far? Well, we've learned that I'm having a hard time finding fish. Yeah. But, no, we have caught, you know, obviously some decent fish up shallow. You know, and I spent a lot of time just kind of investigating and checking stuff out that looked good on the satellite. And we, you know, wasted a couple hours. But again, in my mind, it wasn't that we wasted a couple hours. It's just that we've kind of wrote a few things off. You, you, you got to eliminate water every day you fish. You have to eliminate some things in your mind, and because uh, then that will give you the ability to strengthen the things that you do find that are good. Because you, if you, you can't fish everywhere, and you can't catch fish everywhere. So. That's kind of where we're at. Still have uh, quite a few more hours of daylight. It doesn't even get dark up here until when? About 8.30. Yeah, we've got a lot of time. We've got uh, four and a half more hours. So, we're still gonna, we're gonna figure it out. That's a big one, dude. I mean, yeah, I got it, that's a big one. Yeah. It's a four. 
No, three something. Three something. He's three. He's right at three. He crushed it too. Yeah, he ate it like a he ate it like a ninja. That one's not spawning, is it? No, it looks like. I don't know. What is that? What is it? Oh no, dogfish. Are you serious? Yeah. Yes! Dogfish. Oh. I'm not helping you. I can't, I don't know. I don't know, know if I want to touch him either, to be honest. Wait till you see the Vampire TT guy. Oh, I, I know what they are. <laughs> we got them on the Chevy. Dude, that's crazy, man. Got it back. Got it back. You got it back. So we have covered everything. Wait, no, we needed S Sister, the catfish. Uh, that that right there covers catfish. I mean, dude, it's harder to catch a uh, dog fish a dogfish than a catfish, for sure. Good luck in the tournament, dude. Enjoyed fishing with you today. Hopefully, you'll draw somebody uh, that can do a better job than I can, and you'll do well. Get around some fish. We'll jack them up. Sounds good. I appreciate it. I had a good time. Yeah, man. So we'll have uh, Billy back in the boat tomorrow. The next two days. What's up, B? All righty, all righty, all righty, all righty. Got my boy back. All righty. Championship co-angling from me today. I like it. One thing I am worried about today is that this bat that's up in this engine somewhere, dude, he crawled up in here, and he went in this area, and there's so there could be possibly be a vampire bat in this engine, and while you're standing in this area, he could easily. Come down the pipe, crawl, and latch onto your leg. Let's go, Billy. Come on, Billy. We have to leave. You know what I'm loving really about this morning more than anything? That we were actually on, we are actually left the property before Tom. Because all year, he's left at least 30 minutes before we have. So that means we're really on fire. Ahead of schedule. We're, we're ahead of schedule. I'm glad you're back in the boat, my friend. Yeah, it's good to be back. Bye! He's so happy that he gets to go back to Yeah, the oh yeah, he can't wait. Yeah. He's excited about that. Oh, got one. Got one. Nice small mouth. Look at that. Not a big one, but it's a small mouth. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. Mm. We need them bigger though. No, it's gonna be a small mouth. They're spawning out here on these things. Woohoo, Billy. Billy got a drum. Do they have teeth? Huh? Do they have teeth? Yes. They have teeth? What do you mean? Do they have teeth? I don't know. People have gotten completely maimed by this <laughs> drum. <laughs> ah, come on, man. Look at that. That's a drum, boys and girls. You can play that drum. Did a flip. There you go. Billy's got a bass. Oh, Billy's got a nice bass. Billy, my man. Look at there. There you go. There you go. Oh, on the camera. Oh, yeah. Tell, tell everybody at home how you did that right there. I did it? Yes. Well, I did it on a Carolina rig mm -hmm. with a speed curl, mm -hmm. ultra vibe speed curl, mm -hmm. and I uh, chartreuse the little pinchers on it. Ah. We have someone on important calling. It's Matt Erie. All right, chuck him back. Chuck him back. That's a good one. That's a real good one, dude. Smolly jaws. I love them. I love them a lot. I love them a lot. All right. Dude, there's so much static in the air right now. I've gotten shocked twice. What? I've gotten shocked twice. Touching my rod. 
Standing up. <laughs> what? Splitting, man. What? Let me see. I'm done. Why? Mm -mm. No, man. Because <laughs> my hair? Yeah. It looks like a porcupine. It's standing straight up. That ain't good. What does that mean? It means it's about to get electrocuted. Really? Yeah. The rod know. shocked me twice. What did it feel like? Like a shock? Like a tick. You felt it like sticking yeah. your tongue to a bag yeah. of a nine volt? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I ain't fishing. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Right, right there, dude. Dude, your hair is standing straight. For real. Put the camera on. <laughs> it's standing you straight up? It? I can't, can't see, see anything. I promise, man. What? It's weird. <laughs> That's weird, dude, man. I ain't fishing. I'm done. Really? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> oh, dude, look. We got to go. Is it real? Yeah, it's really standing. We gotta go. Enough fun for today. I hope Brandon's here. All right, guys, it's no joke. When your line is getting all electrocuted and your rod's buzzing and your hair's standing up, you gotta get off the water. I made a little bit of a joke about it, but there was no way to get on plane. We're in a foot of water, like two miles back in the bay. We got out of there just in time. Oh my goodness, did you see that lightning up yeah, there? It's pretty cool. Really cool. My hair was standing up. The rods were shocking us. Really? Yes, really. Brandon uh, oh, yeah. really was freaking out. Did you get a video of that? Oh, yes. Oh, cool. We videoed that My hair is standing up, dude. You can touch it. It was going back up like a porcupine. <laughs> oh, did you find Is it the bat? <sighs> you weren't kidding. So That's the bat, dude. I was thinking it was going to be a little bit bigger. That actually does look like a vampire bat. It's a vampire bat. That's crazy. He, he crawled in my motor, dude. He was yeah. in my motor, and then he must have just crawled out somehow. And now he's there. Whoa. Billy, get down from there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what in the heck? Y'all are doing in here, man. Oh. Day three of practice. We've got past champion right here, Mr. Dave. We got unofficial champion from past tournament right here. All sleeping in. This is the kind of crap I have to deal with. I get up every morning before everybody. I'm the one that's fully dressed today. <laughs> hey, it's the first time for everything. I know. Are we ready to go yet? Uh -huh. Why'd you wake me up at 6.30 and we're leaving at 10? Why? I had to Google Earth, my friend. I had to put... <sighs> Magic stuff on this card. Do this to torture me. Billy's all ready to go. Tom, he's been ready to go because he's gone. Remember, these fish are so shallow, it's ridiculous. So if you're on a spot like this, you'll catch a fish right there. Like right there. Especially in current, dude. They really get sucked in on stuff. Should get whacked right there. Right there. There you go, dude. Nice one, dude. Nice one. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's not about the it's not about the bait, it's about the cast, my friend. Yes. It's not a big one. He's peeing on you. Golden shower. Billy's got a bass. Billy's got a bass. You heard me. You ain't scared. Today is gonna be a good day, my friend. There's one spawning right here. 
Let's see how big he is. Not very big, but he's spawning. Ooh, that's not good. Right in the tongue. Another one. Just not big, dude. Uh-oh, Billy is hooked up with a big one. What is it? Oh, my goodness. Nice. Billy got a bass. Nice. Let it go over there. Looks like a peacock bass inside. Because it's windshield is locking. I'll give it a look around. Boy, I don't know. As you can see, I've got my hands full with this guy. So, I bet he's more than that. You got a scale? So I bet he's, uh, I bet he's 2'6", 2'7". 2'58", so he's over 2'8". So two and a half. And that's about what I thought he was going to weigh. So I'm going to get 15 pounds. All right, guys, what we just did is we sacrificed one. That was a little, that was a little uh, equalizer fish. We wanted to see if my eyeballs were correct. We both thought it was about a two and a half pounder, and it actually weighed two and a half pounds. You know, when you're just eyeballing them, you, you can get some right, you get some wrong. But I think all in all, it's pretty good potential for a pretty good bag. So. <sighs> What are you doing? What are you doing? You filming? <laughs> your These bugs are killing me. Man. Bugs are in your mouth? Well, I'm just closing my eyes. Uh, Billy ain't right. Well, guys, practice is officially over. How was it? Well, you know, I actually I had I had expectations of this place being a lot better than it was. And I think I think overall this this fishery is fishing a little tough right now with the water levels doing what they're doing temperature doing what it's doing just kind of everything in general um, but we did find a lot of spawning fish and I, again I've never fished a term here I don't know what kind of weight it's gonna take to do well but it's the best thing I have and there's a lot of fish in there I think I think I can get 15 I think I can maybe even get maybe 16 or 17 you know it, it, it you could potentially win the tournament in this little area that we found because we saw a lot of good fish. What do you think, Billy? Yeah. 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 All right, dude. So today is a little different. We're not going to the meeting. Billy, you're gonna go to the meeting. You got all your stuff ready? Yeah. Almost. Tom's got his stuff ready. We're doing a angler meeting today with a select group of us anglers, and that's what we do once a year with it, but that'd be a lot of times when we go and we discuss ideas and different things that, that we can do different to make the tour even better. So that's one of the things I'm going to do today. So I'll see you tonight. Okay. So I'm going to miss you, man. Hopefully you win the cooler. I don't think so. I'm going to buy any tickets. No? I can't buy any tickets without Brandon. Probably true. I think it messes up our mojo. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Save it for the last one. Yeah, I do have to buy a net for Matt, though. How do you get in there? Uh -huh. Hi, sorry. Well, that was a productive meeting. Anytime you have a productive meeting, you get free sandwiches when you leave. So all of us, well, it's not, it was like 20 of us all came and had a little meeting to talk about different things for next year and the future to make it up a little bit bigger and better. I think it was pretty good. Good job. Appreciate you, you coming. Yeah. Well, well, you're well smoking. smoking. Yeah. I've been trying in a lot of ways. Free sandwiches. Think that, uh, <laughs> it's always a plus. That's right. That's right. So we got a tornado warning going on. What does a tornado warning mean exactly? I believe it means that the funnel has touched the ground. Really? I believe so. I'm afraid of tornadoes, dude. I don't like tornadoes. For real. Are we gonna be okay? That is bad looking, dude. It's only like 
five o'clock and it's like dark now. Look at that. I didn't think people up here got too many tornadoes. Oh no, it's bad. It's bad up here. So I have an idea. Because we don't have a garage at the farmhouse. We have a barn, but I think it's full of tractors. Is we'll, we'll go to um, a car wash. Because I don't think anybody's going to wash your car right now. So we're not going to be like disrupting a bunch of car wash service. We'll go there and, and we can hide. And it's made out of, hopefully made out of concrete. So if a tornado comes, we can be inside the car wash. Creepin'. How's that song go? Creepin'. Just a creepin'. Something like that. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Just a creepin'. <laughs> We're going to be creeping tomorrow. Creepin so guy. tomorrow, Billy has Scott Canterbury tomorrow. And that's who Billy practiced with day one. And so that's a good thing for Billy because... Billy's good friends with Scott, and and they fished on the river the first day. So yeah. I'm assuming they're gonna, you know, be doing a little bit of the same thing that they were doing in practice. So that's be good for Billy. We got a good day of practice. Yeah, you did. Yeah. And uh, I drew a local guy here, so anxious to meet him. I think we're gonna give you a chesty, my friend. So you'll be with Canterbury doing the chesty thing, which will be kind of cool. So we got the truck cleaned. We went to a car wash, in the rain. and <laughs> while it was raining, and I rigged tackle at the car wash because nobody washes their car. While it's raining, except us, I had Brandon wash the truck. Yeah, good job, right. it was a good job, a really good job. But that's the plan. All right, Billy, let's hear some singing. Oh, uh, pick it, man. What do you got? Play something. You gotta put that camera up, man. We've had this conversation <laughs> already. I mean, listen, I don't need the world knowing how good I sing. You might get called by American Idol. That'd be driving me crazy. Or, I just or want to live a subscribers, one of the two. I'm not sure which. <laughs> I just want to live a quiet life. Do you know that? that? No. Oh, baby. Turn that. No, come on. <laughs> we are out of here. So appreciate all the support. Thanks for all dropping the comments. Thanks for sharing the video. Day one of the tournament starts tomorrow. So it's going to be good stuff. Hopefully everybody in this house is going to get a big old check this week. We'll see you guys. Bye!